Hi there, this, I'm Jane, and uh, I wanted to come and talk to you a little bit about our first and main project, Phase 2. Um, the project started in 1995 when we started talking about first and main Phase 1. It's been a little over 10 years since that project went forward, and we're ready to start it on Phase 2. So we're down here this afternoon at the corner of Owen Brown and Morse Road. Um, we're looking across at the Windstream property. Um, most of that Windstream property has been purchased by the city, and that'll be where we have mostly the commercial part of this project. Over here is the um, municipal property that's the Phase 2 um, Pub Hudson Public Power Building, the Salt Dome, and the Bus Garage. Um, those properties will all be re relocated elsewhere, and this will be mainly our housing area. Um, the whole first and main phase two wanted to have mixed use, wanted to look at the live, work, and play. And you can always look at our comprehensive plan. That's exciting, I know, but we do have it on the, on the uh, website. And it'll talk a little bit more about what that means. Why do we want live, work, and play? Why do people want to live right downtown? And why do we want to have more, more commercial development and so on? So um, we really are trying to focus not on, re on retail because that's in phase one. And we don't want to compete with that retail. We want to complement it. Um, we want to have our housing so that the housing people can walk to the restaurants, people can walk to work and so on. Same thing for the, for the, the, um, the commercial property. Now, some of you may have heard that we're about, to start, we're about to put a shovel in the ground and people haven't seen this and so on. We want to we allay people's fears on that. Any project of this magnitude takes a long time to plan, finance, and, and actually put together. Not to mention all the review, and Hudson is well known for its very detailed reviews of our development plans. So just to let you know where we are, you know, back in 1995, we started creating this vision. Um, we've spent a lot of time creating phase two vision at the same time as phase one um, was was conceived. Then in about 2015, we actually went through the concept plan. We generated that as part of the comprehensive plan update. We had a special ad hoc committee that, that participated in that. We had a lot of public involvement that went on for that and created that concept plan. And again, you're going to be able to see that online on at our website. You can even see it on the um, the, the phase two coming soon sign that's posted by Hudson Public Power. So those two steps have kind of been done. The, then last year we went out to look for a development partner because the city's not a developer. We went out with an RFP, we talked to a lot of developers, um, and we entered into some sort of an agreement with the Tesla companies. Um, and I say some sort of agreement because it's only a concept right now. It, it's a handshake agreement. We're working on a development agreement, which is essentially a contract, but until they knew what they were going to build, meaning how many units or about how many units, we couldn't really, really focus on exactly what the cost would be. So that's why we went through a very long um, public engagement process to see what the public wanted and how they wanted it to look and so on. So that's kind of the point we're at right now. Now that we know about how many units are get, of residential are going to go over here and about how much square footage of commercial might go over there, now we can go and do our traffic studies and do our parking study and finish doing all the financial performance and get to the point of finalizing the development agreement, at which time the Tesla companies can finalize their development plans and submit them for review to Planning Commission and the ARC Board and so on. That alone will take many months to, to be finished. Um, so we're assuming that we're probably going to start seeing some construction activity in 2018, probably in the end of the summer, mainly because we can't move the, these two projects, these two properties, um, until we've built them down, down on the Hudson Drive pro property. So all of this is to say we're taking 
a lot of time. We're, we're doing a lot of public input and we'll be doing a lot of review. We just went out with an RFP for our traffic study, a transportation study, as well as our parking study. So you see those aren't actually even finished yet. We're just starting to do that work. So there's going to be an awful lot of analytics that go on over the winter and a lot of planning and a lot of review. But we did want to update you. We have a great website that we've just updated. There's going to be a lot more information. It's got a, it's got a really good schedule. In fact, we're looking at putting a paper copy of the schedule on our billboard right here so that people that might be out for a walk, they don't have to go to our website, they can actually see a copy here. Um, uh, but do go to our website. We will be trying to get social media and print material out because we want every single person in the community to be a partner with us in this development. So that's the news from down on the corner of Owen Brown and Morse Road. And um, we really encourage you to be involved and get in touch with us if you have any questions. And thanks a lot for being, for being great citizens and, and concerned and caring partners in this.